Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share my Valentine's home tour with you. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So starting out front, I just wanted to show you my heart wreath I have and my home sign. This is the living room. Starting on the left of the china cabinet, I just have a few little decorations. Into the living room, we have this little sign. I got these, I have a couple of these, and they're from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago, but they're really cute. I love the vintage illustrations on them. They're some of my favorites. Here on our cabinet, I have these little lovebirds, and I just kind of, I put a light. It's not really, it used to have a battery light, but it died, so I put one of these corded lights in there, so they light up with the little lovebirds and a little dish. And then going over, here's another one of these. These are from Hobby Lobby, just the vintage Valentine illustrations. It just sits up. And on our chair, I just have this cute little velvet heart pillow. Now up on the mantle, I have a wedding photo and just some little knickknacks for Valentine's. EXO sign. So this garland, I have a few of these, but I've just collected some of my favorite Valentine's cards and I made a garland out of it. It's just um, some twine and then I got these, I believe from the Target dollar spot a long time ago, but these little clothespins that are pink, white, and red. And I did actually hot glue the cards on so they'd stay better. But I just kind of made a little garland with some of my favorite valentines. Now over onto the couch, we have the kitties again. And uh, just a pillow. Above the couch, you can see, is another garland. This afghan here, my grandma made a long time ago, and it wasn't really for Valentine's Day, but the colors always remind me of Valentine's, so I always put it out around this time. Now going into the kitchen, Above this walkway is another garland that I made. Well, I have this heart tablecloth. Just a simple centerpiece with some fruit, but I have my some of my depression, pink depression glass on our table. Bar cart and it is all festive and ready for Valentine's Day. And we can't forget the cute Valentine's aprons. And then hanging on the stove is this towel I embroidered this year for Valentine's Day. All wrinkly because we do use these towels. On 
behind my sink. I just have my washcloth that I crocheted and I'm using the Method Pink Grapefruit scent right now in the spray and the dish soap and then the hand soap too. I just get mine off of Grove Collaborative. Most of our stores around here don't carry like the Mrs. Myers and the Method so much, so it's nice to get them off of the Grove Collaborative website. But if you guys want to order it online too and don't have them all around in your stores, a link in my description box and you can get a free cleaning set from Grove Collaborative. But I think it's just a fun thing to add scrubbers even to just add a touch of what the holiday or season is so I just picked up some pink scrubbers and then my window I just have a few little wall clings and here's another one of those garlands that I made above my sink and the coffee station island is just pretty simple. I have our diffuser going and then just these little heart dishes and doily. Making our way to the bathroom. Here is one of the wreaths that I made a couple years ago. Just two heart, um, one of the little twine wreaths and then I glued them together with hot glue and then I hot glued all the roses onto the wreath. Now in the bathroom, not much decoration, but it's some cute decorations that I did want to show you. These cute Valentine's flamingo towel that I got at Kohl's this year. And then here's another one of those vintage Valentine signs that they have from Hobby Lobby. Just a heart dish to hold our soap. And some more window clings. I put on our mirror. Going into our bedroom, I just have our normal bedspread on, but I have a maroon velvet pillow added. Here's a few of my Valentine's brooches that I like to put out for Valentine's time. In Evelyn's room, a little bed set up with Valentine stuffed animals, and then some little princess wall clings on our window. I hope you all enjoyed this home tour, and if you did, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And let me know in the comments below if you decorate for Valentine's too, and what your decorations look like. Okay, see you next time. Bye.